What's up? Oh, Matt. No, that's a, that's a really bad start. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. What's up guys? It's a platform because we're talking about WhatsApp. So if you don't know what WhatsApp is, you're probably from a different planet. Now, I use WhatsApp quite often to keep in touch with my friends and every time I want to continue a conversation in a more meaningful way, I switch to a web interface. So you can actually log into web interface and continue from your computer, taking advantage of the keyboard. Now, WhatsApp Actions, Navbar Actions, it's the uh, second uh, video I make about a smart navbar. Now, that profile can be used standalone. However, uh, if you... Uh, wait long enough uh, till the last action you'll see also a profile that ties everything together and let you use this in a more smart way now i'm going to show you what whatsapp actions do and uh, how you can take advantage of this first of all uh, you have enough active pc so uh, i've used all the information i've created and generated using the previous video so active pc and the device information device location sorry uh, to uh, set an active pc so this is the uh, uh, the computer you used lastly and when you press the button it'll open whatsapp web client for you uh, then there is a second action on double tap it will open incognito whatsapp now why would you want incognito first of all increased privacy because whatsapp by default is going to keep your session logged in which means if you close the whatsapp uh, another person can open the whatsapp web and access your conversation details now the second reason for that is to run multiple whatsapp clients so you could have a whatsapp and whatsapp for business at the same time and uh, third action on the WhatsApp, uh, it's going to be triple play, uh, tap, which isn't very comfortable, but this is uh, automated QR scan because to auto, uh, to log in and continue on web, you have to scan the presented QR code for you. Now that's going to happen with three taps. However, if you're going to use the uh, incognito mode uh, with uh, event ghost you're gonna have a possibility to receive additional prompts to actually log yourself with a single press of a button so i'm gonna showcase that all for you uh, now and then we're gonna go into the tasker and event ghost and i'll show you how it works when you open whatsapp you'll see the icon in the corner right now it points to my laptop device because laptop was the last computer used so let me move a mouse on my stationary computer. As you can see, the icon has changed and now I can cast WhatsApp web to a stationary computer. If I press it once, it will open a single Chrome window and it will ask me to log in. Now, if I tap it three times, I will be able to log in into that interface using the automated system. Now, if you want to increase your privacy, what you can do, let's close that WhatsApp again. What you can do is go back to your WhatsApp and tap on the icon twice. It will open WhatsApp in incognito mode and prompt you straight away to log in. So let's try this. So I've tapped it twice and in a second you will see the incognito mode with WhatsApp and this will change also into the scanning barcode. So you don't have to tap it three times. All you have to do is tap it once, scan your code and after a couple of seconds, this will disappear. Now WhatsApp works with the active PC profile. However, there is a backup solution for when you are outside of your home location. So when you, for example, not at home and you're connected to work Wi-Fi and you can't use even Ghost, uh, then you can use predefined paths. So, for example, at work, you would be able to log into the work device and at, uh, elsewhere, you would be able to push it to a laptop. So when I work, open the WhatsApp now, you'll see the icon has changed. And now it will depend on how I predefine the path to open it. First, let's take a look at Event Ghost. And like you can see I have two active profiles in here in the active PC and those are based on my active PC tutorial if you want to uh, read more details just head back to the description there will be a tutor uh, tutorial link there 
now I have a set active and on boot. So basically when the device is powered on or device uh, just uh, populated system idle message, it will send a, a message to Tasker saying which device has uh, been used recently and set an active PC. So in this case, it's a desktop. Now, another thing that I'm gonna be doing in um, Event Ghost is uh, open WhatsApp. Now, when I receive a WhatsApp message, uh, I can run a command. This is the command. Uh, so it's start Chrome incognito WhatsApp in brackets to open an incognito uh, website like this. And then I'll be looking for that window using a find window Chrome and uh, we'll be looking for window Chrome which has a WhatsApp title. And if the window is found, then I'm gonna send back message saying that it's okay to start scanning. And that's gonna swap uh, the Tasker's navbar into the scanning navbar. You've seen that in a showcase. So this is uh, how this is initi initiated from the computer. Obviously, uh, even Ghost has to be installed on every single computer that you want to use for the active um, PC. So let's head back to Tasker. So this is the Tasker setup. First of all, I'm not going to talk about device location and set active PC. I've discussed this in details in my previous video in the navbar part one, cast to active PC. I'm gonna cover the differences, uh, but for the most parts, the device location is not touched and the set active PC small has small changes, which I'm going to explain in a second. Now I have two profiles, one's to display the correct navbar and one's to scan um, the, uh, or display the nav navbar that basically allows you to scan uh, the QR code. And uh, if you notice, they're running the same task, so both uh, run NB navbar WhatsApp task. So the way I went with this is uh, I've used ARCOM, so auto remote command uh, variable, and I'm checking whether the ARCOM is set, so the task is being triggered by the um, auto remote WhatsApp a message or what is triggered by opening app. Now, if it's triggered by a message, it's only going to run this one because the RR comes going to be populated and it's going to contain QR, which means I want to display a uh, NB WhatsApp login task, which has this nice um, symbol for the barcode. So if you jump into that task in here, it will allow me to uh, one click login. This is exactly the same action that I'm using to triple tap and login to uh, WhatsApp web. Now I'm using three different input actions to enable this. Then I wait 10 seconds and I go home. I've introduced small delays and very important is to enable accessibility service before action. And then on the last one, disable accessibility service after action. That's why this way you don't have to run auto input accessibility service all the time, which cause a small lag. Now those actions basically are replicate the logging um, sequence. So what you have to do, the first action is tap here. Oops, I went too quick. First action is tap here. Second option is WhatsApp web. And the third action is that plus in a corner. So once we've got this, uh, let's take a look at all the tasks that I have there listed. As you can see, I have a WhatsApp laptop, WhatsApp desktop, and WhatsApp double tap laptop, WhatsApp double tap desktop, and WhatsApp Wi-Fi. So let's talk about the profile which triggers it. So when you open WhatsApp or WhatsApp for business, uh, you run this task. We already talked about the barcode. So we have another three different actions here. First of all, we're setting a variable. That variable is needed when you run more than one app. So for example, if you run Facebook and WhatsApp, you're gonna need that variable. And I'll explain that in a second. So when we are home, we want to display this navbar. And this navbar consists of three different actions. Now, first action is to run NB WhatsApp profile. And then the device is basically depends on the active PC variable. The second one works in the same way and the device 
uh, name as well. And the third action on triple tap is just run WhatsApp login. Now, if we outside of the home, uh, the sequence is slightly different because I actually gonna specify what devices I want to uh, run it to. So for example, in the first action, I'm going to run the task, which is uh, WhatsApp Wi-Fi. So the one that determines the actions based on the location on the double tap, it's gonna be laptop because it's most likely I'm gonna be doing this on laptop because on no other device outside of my home is gonna have um, even ghost installed. And on the third one, I have the regular login. So let's take a look at these actions, uh, this task, sorry. When I'm trying to open stuff on the laptop, uh, I have the laptop icon assigned and the name of the task named WhatsApp laptop. This sends a join push message to device name active PC. The same goes for the desktop. There is no changes in here. I'm just sending a push into the active PC. I've created two different tasks so I could have a two different icons. Now, changes will happen when it comes to the double tap because double tap is not always present. So when I click on the double tap, the first thing that's gonna happen, it's a distinction on the laptop, whether I'm running it at work, which obviously at work, I don't want uh, that to be sent to laptop. I want that to be sent to my desktop at work. But if it's outside of the work, then I'm just sending out a remote message to my event ghost and even ghost will open incognito mode with the double tap. Now on the desktop in a similar matter, because I know I'm not going to run it elsewhere, uh, then it's gonna just send out a remote message. Now, when it comes to context location uh, based on the Wi-Fi basically, and uh, there's a couple of things. First of all, if the device location is elsewhere, so I'm not connected to any known networks like work or home, uh, then I'm sending it to laptop. Otherwise, I'm going to send it to work when I'm connected to work, and that's pretty much it. Lastly, there is a reset, uh, which uh, resets the variable and sets the default home navigation bar. To handle uh, the active changes, uh, of the PCs, I needed to modify set active PC. Set active PC is already built that it has a conditions for each uh, app, and that's something you have to remember. So when uh, app is open and the PC changes, I want that to be reflected as well. So what's going to happen? The active PC is going to refresh, and then if variable NB active app equals WhatsApp, which means the WhatsApp is open and device location is home because the active set, uh, set active PC profile works only at home, I want to display a new navbar. Otherwise, it will just ignore this. So that's how you sense, uh, set the dynamic changes. And that's pretty much everything in terms of this uh, profile. I hope that was easy enough uh, for you guys, but if you want additional information and the project files to download, head over to the description of this video. You're gonna find the link to the article, you can read it through, you can take it at your own pace and download the files. Now, in the next video, we're gonna focus on NFC trigger for smart lights control. So you will be able to dynamically change the lights based on you, uh, the room you're in. Uh, the the navbar is gonna give you a feedback as well and it's pretty awesome. Now this uh, WhatsApp action uh, from the Navbar uh, project is a standalone project so you can use it as is but if you wait uh, throughout the series until the last video you're gonna see a video wrapping all actions together allowing you to use all the Navbars in a smarter way. So if you fancy some of that uh, follow me on social media you're gonna get notified about it or use the YouTube notification system uh, to uh, get notification when I release a next video. Unfortunately, I don't have a schedule per se, so if you um, don't want to miss anything, just use the notification bell and that would be great. As for now, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care!